Hey guys, had some follow up thoughts and I wanted to explain to you really why make good choices not bad excuses is my saying, why I believe in it and why I want you to believe in it as well and it really is a lesson I've learned um, and one part of it is being honest with yourself so you, what you need to do in making good choices not bad excuses is recognise when are you making excuses now if you've been making excuses here there and everywhere and you're down a dark pit of excuses that's going to be a bit overwhelming at first because a lot of your life is an excuse okay but that's fine you can start there just start with one excuse um but you need to start recognizing that you're doing that and that your mind is made up of this whole make-believe world that you've created to make yourself feel better about what you're not doing and where you're failing and where you're not living up to your potential. Um, if you're down in that dark pit, um, you should make one good choice, not one bad excuse. Sorry, I forgot it. <laughs> um, and so whether that is not drinking today, like if you're drinking all the time, whether that's not watching porn today, if you're doing that all the time, whether that's doing one exercise um, routine today, that's where you need to start. Okay, and that is getting into that mindset of okay I'm not going to make an excuse about that anymore I'm going to face that and and really what this is designed to do is to help you trade in the life that you're living right now which isn't working which isn't good for you or anyone around you um, and you have to trade it in for this new life and that's your potential that's what you could be that's your dream okay but to do that you need to stop the excuses of why that's all not possible that dream life why you can't do that why you need money to do these things oh it's not possible for blah 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 stop all of that and recognize every time your brain's going to be doing that on overload okay but try and recognize every time that you're making these excuses then great that's the first step then what you have to do is replace that for a good choice and a good choice is simply asking yourself is this a good choice? And you know. So before you go and take, um, go and buy a drink, say to yourself, you need to be more reflective and slower in your actions. And don't just do things automatically because right now you're living in a many habits that you've formed, many bad habits. So what you need to do is before you go and act out all these things that you do all the time that aren't working, that are leading you to the same state of anxiety and depression and meaninglessness you need to stop all that and before each behavior ask yourself is this a good choice and you will know you'll know the answer you when you then go to drink you will somewhere inside of you will say no <laughs> it's not a good choice and that's where you step in and you don't do that or then replace it with something good um, I mean exercise, obviously I go on about that a lot and I mean it, to me it is essential um, because to me you can't build a strong mind without a strong body, they are completely intertwined and what better way to do it, I mean why don't you want a strong body, that's also a good question. And why don't you want a strong mind? You should want them, and I believe everyone does. Um, so, and, and yet again, it's, it's living up to your potential because if you don't live up to your potential, that hurts you. That's why you think you're um, not good enough in a fit. All these negative thoughts that you have oh, inside your head um, that comes from not living up to your potential. So, if you're really stuck right now, I want you to 
completely adopt my motto to make good choices and not bad excuses and use that and use it just once today I want you to trade in one bad excuse for one good choice that's what I want you to do today and then I want you to pick up the momentum with that and get addicted to making good choices not bad excuses oh that's what I was going to say um this is also it's like a form of justice <laughs> now bear with me but basically how do I explain this life god the world the universe whatever you want to say but you will be rewarded for making good choices and it's so beautiful. Like since I have traded in my old life of making excuses and started making good choices, like that's where I found this saying is because it's come from my own life and what I've witnessed in my growing is that my life is so much better now. Like I'm happy, I am lifted from fear, not completely obviously, I mean, but a, a weight has lifted from me of anxiety and things like this and it's a, it's a different life um see, see you're being punished justfully <laughs> even though you're suffering and, and you think oh but this has happened to me and because they did this to me that's actually why i, I have to drink to cope because oh and because of this and yes some of that's true but you are making excuses because you have the choice to do better in spite of what's happened to you and in spite of what what was um what was not your fault um you still have the choice to do better and that's what you need to do and that's what life will reward you for so for example when you go out the run when you come back you'll be rewarded you will feel good when you do something scary you'll be rewarded because you'll feel proud of yourself. Now all of these things won't come at once. So you might be thinking, oh, yeah, well Michelle, I went a run or I did a, an exercise routine and I didn't feel good after it. I mean you need to do this all the time. You're, you're, this is why people say it's a lifestyle. It's not just a 10 day fix or a diet. It's a lifestyle. You, you need to be so discontented with your life now and really s decide that you need a different life, a whole different life. And that's why then when you exercise consistently, make good choices, not bad excuses, consistently it starts to build up and your new life starts to blossom out of that and it is a new and different life. And let me try and think of how to say this. Yes. No, I've not got it. Um, I've lost, I've lost the plot. What was I saying? Um, so, yes. So it's just, it's just, yes. My goodness, sorry. Um, the, the life you're living, the suffering you're experiencing is actually because of the way you're living. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And you deserve it <laughs> in, in a way. Like, um, because you aren't choosing the correct way to live. And life, or this justice, or God, or any of these things is punishing you, or your body. Um, and that's why you don't feel good. Okay? But when you start to stop making those excuses and stop blaming all the circumstances in life and how it's the patriarchy and how it's because all the hierarchies are against you and all these things that you can blame and all oh, your people and some of these might be real things right but the point is you can always try you can always do better you can always choose to find a way trying to find an opportunity and a silver lining and when you do that your life, it rewards you for it. So that's what I'm saying, stop making excuses and your life opens up to possibility and it opens up to all the great things in life because you try. And that's why it's not a risk to try 
and do things and fail because you always learn. This is why people say these things all the time. So you need to stop all these things, stop the excuses and make good choices. That needs to come in its place. And, and that's every little choice that you do, try and slow everything down. Even before you speak, um, anything that is a, a choice where you could do something good or bad, you know, try and slow all of it down and replace it with a new thing where you ask yourself, your conscience, ask God, ask whoever within you, reflect, is this a good choice? What, what should I do? Blah, blah, blah. And then follow suit. And I promise you, I promise, promise, promise that your life will be new and it will, it doesn't mean you will not ever suffer again and you won't ever feel pain or, or have hardships, but the point is you will be able to bear all of that because you will get the beauty out of life and the blessings and you'll be grateful and you'll have all of that to balance it and it'll be worth it. Because right now, all you people who are in that sort of mindset are kind of like, oh, I might as well die because nothing's worth anything. That will not be what you think. Um, when you have purpose and when you make good choices, not bad excuses, you, you reach your potential and you live in your purpose, everything starts to come together and be whole and you can bear life's suffering and enjoy life. I don't think I said that quite perfectly but I'm trying and I hope that came across and I hope you understand why I believe in make good choices not bad excuses. It's saved my life. It continues to push me. I'm saying that all the time in my head, um, as much as I can, and trying to get that into a habitual thought pattern. I want you to do that as well, and it will work, you know? So make good choices, not bad excuses.